What's going on everybody and welcome to hell. Today I'm playing a game called Alone in Hell. By the screenshots I saw, it looks pretty cool, so let's play. Where am I? I'm in some sort of secluded room for some reason. I don't time to read, to read this immediately without even pressing a button. The last thing I remember is hearing sirens. There were also shouting police officers commanding me to get down on my knees. What did I do? Oh, have I committed some heinous crime? And now I'm... The ultimate punishment has befallen me? Being in hell that I can open the door? No problem, apparently. A flashlight? Weird. You know, it's not really that weird considering this is an indie horror game, but I don't know about this. I don't know about any of this. A living room. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a look in this room before anything else. A bathroom. What's up with this bathroom? It's creepy as hell. Toilet paper? It's fine. Everything seems a little bit big compared to me, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. What does this say? I never pee or poop. <laughs> I never pee or poop anymore. It's like my urinary system has completely disappeared. This place is driving me nuts. I can feel it in my bones. I just like how it says pee and poop. It's a little silly, but I'm okay with that. I'm all for it. Let's... What the hell was that sound? I'm reacting a little bit late to that. But that's my own fault because I took so long to get here. I don't know why, but I am never hungry anymore. I haven't drunk water for what feels like a year. I have already forgotten the taste of every food I've ever eaten. Damn, dude, that actually sucks really bad. The food? The, one of the core memory builders of life? Big parts of my childhood and my coming up into the world. Go back with diacritic font text all over it? Well, there's a note over here. What do I do with this? I used to be able to read, but now I can't even do that. Feels like the world is crumbling down on me. What do you mean can't read? Look at me. I'm killing it here. Can I do something with this? I hear a noise behind it. I must have to come back. Let's see what the deal is. But what the fuck? Is there something I must do with you? It won't let me. There's definitely something going on behind there. I guess I'm definitely gonna have to come back. At least there's kind of running. But is this the whole play area? I feel like there should be more going on. Oh. This is what I did. I was a butcher in life. Mm. Are you happy with yourself? Yeah, I had a wonderful, wonderful job. I'm fucking stuck in here. You think you can't get away? Can? Get away with this? I guess so. Uh, isn't that why I'm here? Um, excuse me. Oh, I blacked out and now I'm in a hallway. All right then, uh, another note. What do you say? What did I do? Why am I doing this? The world has surely abandoned me now. All I see are these masked people. Do people even exist? Oh, okay, why did you do it? I have no idea what I did. Didn't you hear me in the beginning? You are dead. Well, that much I kind of figured. This is hell. I'm alone in hell. There it is. <laughs> Okay, I got so scared. I hit the uh, caps lock. What is this? Dude, that wasn't cool. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, you don't deserve hell. You deserve much, much worse. Okay, well, here's a demonic symbol. Let me stand in the center of this. I guess. I guess somebody doesn't like me doing that. They're crying. Oh no. Uh. How could you do this? Ooh. How could you? What did I do? Oh. Oh. Just why? What? Welcome to hell. I guess so. Um. Guys. What did I do? Ew. 
Interesting. This was my first horror game, so please show support. Hope you enjoyed. Hmm. Not bad for a first horror game. You know, a lot of people clown on these little indie horror games because on the surface they seem like, I don't know, kind of kind of bland, but I actually enjoyed this one. I think it kept me on my toes. It kept me interested in the story and I, there was a really nice jump scare there. And I mean, it has one of those stories that I guess puts you in the place of the character in a way that feels a bit more compelling than normal. So even though it doesn't have the craziest graphics or the most in-depth storyline or even the most immersive gameplay, I still enjoyed this. It was pretty good, especially for a first game. I know it can be a bit daunting to put something out into the world for everyone to see. And especially with games, it's not an easy thing to do. So I have to commend the developer for making this. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Anyway, if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, be sure to check the link down below in the description as usual. Otherwise, that's going to wrap it up for me here today. Thanks for being here, everyone. I appreciate the support that you show me on this channel every single day. It means the world to me, and I'm happy to have you here. If you happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave me a little comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.